What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Strup Truth, aka Connor. You know the drill that ends with an ER and not with an OR. Without further ado, let's get this started. I think this will go under Tea Time with Connor because it's kind of an opinionated storytelling kind of thing, but it may become its own series. I'm not sure yet. What today's video is about is kind of just an opinion and talks about weed, exposure, and parenting. I'm a very opinionated person. I like to share those. If that's your thing, feel free to stick around. And if you're not, that's cool too. Feel free to click off. So I have this motto with my life, it's to give one daily care. You know how people say like, I don't give an F or I don't give two shiitake mushrooms trying to keep this clean because kids are on this channel too. Well, my motto is to give one care, one F. I give one F a day, either something I let something bother me, just one, or I pay close attention to somebody and make sure they know that they're cared or loved upon or whatever. And I kind of want to share with you guys what my one care was yesterday. So last night I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw this kid, had to be no older than 11, 12 years old, he, he was somewhere between 10 and 12, and what he was doing was he was taking pictures of him smoking weed, and here's where things start to get sketchy. This video isn't about, and I don't want it to be about, legalization of weed, marijuana, the good bush, the Mary Jane, I don't want it to become a heated discussion, I'm not even going to state my opinion on whether I think we should be legal or not. I'm gonna keep this a very non-biased video, and we're just gonna talk about my daily care and what I cared about. So this kid, I saw him smoking weed, and it hurt me. He was posting pictures of this. When I was 9, 10, 11, I didn't even know what weed was, and that brings it to the exposure part. Kids nowadays are so much more exposed to things that people that I knew or the things that I did when I was his age was not even in comparison. Things are being much more exposed nowadays. So what I decided to do is message this kid. All I did was very cordially, I was just like, hey bud, I was wondering how old are you? And he started just immediately cussing and being profane with me and all kinds of vulgarities and racist remarks. So I just didn't reply because I didn't want to start anything with a, you know, a 10 year old kid. I'm growing, I'm a lot more mature than that. But his reaction, it hurt my soul even more. Like at this point, I'm just like, ah, oh God, what is this world coming to? I'm not saying that weed is bad or good or anything like that. I'm just saying the fact that this kid has the ability to have it, the fact that he's exposed to this, that knows this. At 10 years old, I knew what cartoons and playing in the grass was. I didn't know what weed was or drugs. Like, they're teaching sex ed in schools at like 9 or 10 years old now. There was a new bill about that somewhere. Now, here it comes to the parenting part. I don't know how he got the weed. I don't know why he had the weed. I don't know how he was exposed to that. Maybe his parents. I don't know. But there's a time and a place for everything. That's why you have a driver's license and a permit at 15, 16 here in Texas. And you're able to buy cigarettes and dip at 18. And you can drink at 21. And you can get the early bird special at 70. There's a time and place for everything. You go to high school after middle school. You go to middle school after elementary school. And it scares me and it's very scary sad that a kid with not even his full frontal lobe developed, if you don't know this is the decision making part of your brain that helps you make critical decisions, a 10, 9, 10, 11 year old kid doesn't have this frontal lobe developed and neither do a lot of people. You don't develop this tool about 25 fully, that's when your brain is at its full functioning standpoint, when you're able to make proper decisions for yourself. Some people it develops a lot higher or lower than others in quicker speeds or slower times. I know some 40 year olds that are incredibly stupid and I know some 16 year olds that are super smart and very mature for their age. As I said, this is an opinionated video and my opinion is that it's not okay for this 10 year old kid to be smoking pot. It's the fact that this kid should not have the ability to have drugs in his possession. A couple years ago, his mom was changing his diaper and putting out clothes for him, and now all of a sudden he's smoking pot, and his behavior itself was just immediately just standoffish. It comes naturally when that's what you see. I, I worked at a daycare for a long time, and I'd see good kids and I'd see bad kids these parents aren't doing that great of a job training this child because as a parent it's your job to make sure that they become good people and make good decisions and they learn from example if you're doing these bad things and telling them not to do that well they're going to obviously want to do that that may have something to do with the fact people are making kids earlier than their frontal lobe is completely formed 16 year olds pregnant in high school things like that but i've just noticed it a lot in the last century or so it scares me for my kids i don't have kids but it scares me like are they going to be introduced to weed and pot and yes i realize those are the same thing i meant to say crack sex and all these things are we going to be babies teaching sex ed i don't understand i don't know 
But I guess this was kind of just a rant of my opinion on it and to let something off my chest. This was very rambly and I'm sorry for that, but this was my daily care, guys. I hope you give a care for someone else today. Have a good day.